Manchester City went top of the Premier League table with a 4-0 win over Southampton at the Etihad Stadium. Ralph Hazenhuttle's future as Southampton manager has been thrown into doubt in recent days, with the 55-year-old unable to prevent his side from a comfortable defeat at the hands of the reigning champions. Man City have now won their last six matches in all competitions, including their last three in the league. Saturday's success lifted them above division leaders Arsenal, while Southampton are 16th, just seven points from their opening game. Nine games the visitors could have been three goals ahead in the opening one minute when Phil Foden, Riyad Mahrez and Erling Braut Haaland all went close, the latter hitting the post. However, the citizens finally took the lead in the 20th minute when Joao Cancelo, a constant threat before his 70th minute withdrawal, curled a low shot into the bottom right corner. There was no reply from Southampton and the home side doubled their lead in the 32nd minute when Foden lifted the ball over the onrushing Gavin Bazou after clever work from Kevin De Bruyne. Stuart Armstrong had the visitors' best chance of the first period in the final exchanges, but the midfielder shot over the bar from half-court. However, Saints well and truly took the game away from them in the ninth minute, although Mahrez picked out the bottom corner with a superb strike from Rodri. Haaland should have made it 4-0 just before the hour, but the Norway international couldn't get on De Bruyne's dangerous cross and it looked like it might not be his day. The striker was not to be denied though and scored his 15th Premier League goal in the 65th minute, firing home Cancelo's low cross from inside the box. Man City will return to second place when Arsenal beat Liverpool on Sunday, but the win left the citizens 13 points clear of Jurgen Klopp's side despite the Reds having two games in hand. Southampton had chances to score late on, but Romain Perraud made the most of them. The defender fired wide of the post after seeing Ruben Dias' first strike blocked.